All right, Sagittarius. You guys have as your underlying energy, ooh, the the Ace of Wands. So for a lot of you guys, when it comes to the Ace of Wands, there's a lot of excitement. Uh, there is this new beginning that's starting that you're super excited about. It's, it can be like a, it's really actually like happy, excited, or this could be just like an excited because of this happening. Necessarily something that you guys may want to do. Now, because I say this, and underneath this, you have the Six of Wands, which is good. It's a success. This is getting being recognized because of the effort that you put in to be recognized. Right? You put a lot of effort to be noticed, and now you guys got the, the the success in regards to that and here you are um this could be in relationships maybe you guys have put in you know effort in your relationships and you've noticed or you're noticing the results of your of your relationship coming out and standing out um which is absolutely good um and now it started something new it started something more passionate more exciting let's go ahead and see what else is going on in the reading here to kind of get the better idea of what this ace of wands is talking about or why the ace of wands in your relationship this new thing of passion is the focus for this week the underlying energy or excuse me your current state of being here guys is the cur is the um ace of cups blah well it's the ace of cups guys ace of cups so for a lot of you guys this is about communicating what you love you know your emotions talking about your feelings this could be also uh someone you know communicating to you in regards to how they feel this is a part offer of love as well for some of you guys uh, some yeah some of you guys could be offering love or someone else could be offering love to you could be you know expressing how they feel um, for a lot of you guys if there's no one in your life at this time this could be about focusing on what it is that you want what is your heart's desire okay so there yeah there it could be that there is a lot of focusing on what your heart's desire is or trying to figure out what it is that your heart is wanting what is your heart yearning for what what is it that your heart wants to express um and looking at those very details right looking at what it is that, that your heart is you know wanting now where you guys want to be is the ten of swords now i don't think you guys want to be that you know dead in the dirt but what i do think you guys want to do is recover you guys want to get over a very difficult time in your life or a difficult time in your relationship I feel like something can kind of hit rock bottom. It would just hit, you know, black, hit the rocks. But you guys want to be able to overcome that, just, you know, to rise up from what has happened. You guys want to, um, you know, just pretty much, not necessarily just get over it, but you guys want to recover. You want to heal because that situation is very hard to handle. I feel like that ending, whatever you guys have experienced, was such, you know, was so devastating. That to overcome such a devastating part or you know, devastating cycle, or uh, ending of a cycle, it's gonna be it has its rewards in so many different ways that I can't even expo describe, right? So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you want to recover, but the thing that's keeping you guys from recovering right now um, is the four of cups. So back to the page of cups, somebody could be offering you something, some offer of love. Well. You guys, it could be that you're not sure if this person is real. You know, if you're ready for someone that. You know, someone to offer you love or for the ace of cups right because the cups behind you you don't even see the cup being offered to you or this is an individual that you offer love to and they don't even know the cup being offered to them or that perhaps you're waiting for a response to the offer of love right you want to get you want to recover you want i feel like you want to just start a new beginning okay you want the, you know the worst to be over and the worst of it to you know the worst can be over in regards to anything right because I, I can't get too specific it's a general reading but whatever you guys want to get to the end of and start you know building off of that or build you know starting over has a lot to do with someone's decision making and i feel like it's like there's a bit of apathy going on and you're not really sure of what to do you're kind of you feel a little stuck in your emotions or the person that you're dealing with is stuck in their emotions are stuck and they're just like kind of like you know thoroughly almost getting done with the whole situation they're like almost done with it um and the reason of this the reason why they you have the four of cups there um has to do with the magician there could have been somebody that um you know there's a smooth talker you know someone that was a bit manipulative or someone that potentially even manifested something um you know manifested something in, in the past there was maybe some communication because the you know magician does communicate you know uses communication to manifest whatever he 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 wants so i i feel like for a lot of you guys with this this four of cups situation keep you from getting to the ten of swords i feel like 
you're not necessarily sure if everything is the, this is the exact same. You're not sure if even the cup that's being offered to you is the same thing, or you don't know, or you're possibly waiting on somebody and you're getting impatient about the response, right? Because it's like, okay, I know what I want. Why is it taking this person forever to take, figure out what they want? And I feel like it's because you went out of your way to go ahead and make that situation know, right? Make the, the whole situation happen. Whether it you whether you communicated to them with how you felt or, you know, you've loved yourself and you've gotten off of love and now you're kind of figuring out what it is that you want to do. Well, the advice has a lot to do with focusing on your desires, focusing on what you want, focusing on your cup. What is your ideal person? That will only help to figure out whether you want to you know, accept the offer or de completely decline it, right? Especially if that's the kind of situation that's going on right now for you. There's a lot of things that are going on, so I'm going to kind of just go on the route of somebody that offered you guys love. Okay? You don't, you're not necessarily sure what to do with it because you're stuck. Or you're just focusing on three cups instead of shifting your focus to, to, to new love, to being open, to seeing where this goes. And I feel like we have to figure out exactly what it is that you guys want in your ideal partner. What do you want as an ideal partner? Who do you feel... Um, who, what do you feel is, um, a successful relationship to you and how, and it's not that who would do that is more of like what the characteristics of a person need to show to show you love pretty much. What is your five love languages? Um, guys definitely read that book. It's really good. Um, we'll just look into it, but the, the, the Knight of cups is really just focusing on what it is that you want. What is your heart's desire? Cause the Knight of cups. He always focuses on his cup. He always does. Um, and, as, and I really feel like for your advice, you say go with your heart. Go with what your heart is telling you. Go with what you feel is right. But be open to possibilities, right? With the with the with the um, with the with the four of cups, because you may be surprised. This um, the offer of love may be different than the than the situation that happened in the past, right? But focus on what it is that you want. Focus on what your heart's desire is. Um, figure out what it is that you feel would be the ideal partner for you or what you feel would be the ideal relationship for you. And that's kind of what's going to steer the situation in the right direction, especially if there's been manifestation in the past. Okay. I feel like you guys have manifested attraction or you've attracted people to you and you've gotten an offer now, but it's all about if that offer actually means something to you. And that's totally fine to take your time, but I can understand why it could get a little frustrating and you may feel a little bit apathetic about certain things, about the situation, about the offer itself. Now, in your feelings, you guys have the three of cups. So for a lot of you guys, you guys feel supported. You guys could possibly be the supporting network for some, uh, someone else. Um, but you most of, I feel honestly that you guys feel like you're supported right now. You have friends around you, people that love you. They, are, they show that love. They are there with you. Um, and I feel like you guys also potentially could have had a reunion with a partner, um, gotten together with them. There's a union of hearts. Okay. That's what I like to see with this. Cause this could be platonic as well. Usually, um, and love is not romantic or platonic it just is right it's an emotion it's something that you feel for somebody that's stronger than like it's stronger than i i could deal with or I could, I could tolerate so i feel like with this three of cups that you guys do feel support you do feel love and you do provide something back with, you know you do provide that you know support back as much as you can um for some of you guys out there uh but you guys feel supported here now what you guys are hoping for is the Ace of Pentacles, something that can lead you to a long-term stability and commitment and support, okay? Um, and I feel like you could definitely get this, you know, you could get whatever you want. Guys, nothing, if you, if you ever want something, you can get it. It's all about how you do it, right? It's all about how you get there. Because if, if you can or if you won't get there, it's like, that question is like, Mm, no, it's all depends on what you are willing to do or what you want, you know, what you're willing to do to get there. If you are looking to get there, then, you know, it's important to look at what your options are uh, before, you know, you know, situations before you determine if you could go X, Y and Z. Right. Go there or not. But I do feel like you can do it right. The, you want this support. You want the stability to last you for a long time. And I feel like you want to go in the direction of something that's more stable rather than just something that's exciting, that's hot for the moment, and then just burns out. Okay, and I'm not saying that the Ace of Wands does that. The more, more so, the Page of Sword, Page of Wands would do that. Not the Page of Wands, not the, not the Ace of Wands. The Page of Wands would do that. But um, it still could get that feeling of like, okay, how long is this going to last? 
I do feel like you guys may want to be in a stable relationship. The commitment part may be a bit difficult for you guys because that's the hard part, right? You may feel like you have to commit to something and you may not be ready. You may not be ready to commit to something long term like that. You may not be ready to commit to someone that deal, you know, for that much. You may want to start something exciting and kind of see where it goes. But for some of you guys, you may feel the support and love and, you know, you may feel that connection with someone, which is great, but you may not want to start something long term. So not you know, takes for, you know, that, that really requires a lot of dedication and stuff like that. For some of you guys do, for some of you that you may not, some of you guys potentially want your freedom. Okay. You guys just want your freedom. You guys want to you know, feel free. Now in your outcome, you have strength and strength is coming up as kind of pushing through the situation, you know, finding your inner strength and, you know, kind of working your way through it. And it's a hard situation as well, but and so it requires bravery and it requires inner strength, okay? Using that inner power to to work through the problem, to work through the circumstance, right? And I feel like it's going this whole situation is going to require you to be to be brave. Okay? To be brave and to go ahead and work through it. Um there may be a lot of passion here that you may feel as well that you may want to express, but it's going to require the inner, you know, the inner person to relax that, to calm that, because you don't want to just burst that all out immediately. I feel like you want to give it out in samples, especially with this Ace of Wands. You don't want to burn out too fast. You want it to to to, to um, maintain its endurance, if that makes sense. So for a lot of you guys. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an offer that's been presented to you guys. You don't know necessarily what to do about it because of an ending that happened and you want to recover from that. You want to feel, you know, you want to feel like you've gotten over that before possibly committing to somebody. And if you, and, or you may want to, you know, you may want to, um, have some sort of sign that is going to lead to somewhere, somewhere solid, somewhere that's long term. So that way, I mean, to even consider the relationship, I feel. But you have to know what you want first. I feel like focusing on what it is that you want will help you figure out whether the offer that they, the person gave you is worth the time. Because in your outcome, there is a little bit of you know strength that's needed to get you through the situation. It may be difficult, um, and I can't really see exactly what may be difficult. Could potentially be that the growing the relationship, of, you know, um, situations of the past coming back up, old pains coming back up, betrayal potentially that has come that come up that you have to really fight off. Uh, to begin to you know work on the relationship a little bit more, it all depends on uh, depends on the individual that's watching the video. But I do see that you that the focus of this whole reading has a lot to do with what actually gets you excited, what actually feels makes you feel engaged in the relationship. What is your passion, and what is it that you truly want in your heart? All right, guys, your wisdom of the oracle for the week is. Here and now, living in the moment, y'all. So living in the moment is very, very important. It does make sense, right? Living in the moment, because um, if you're planning for the future without actually having uh, having an idea of what it is that you want in the first place, it can be very, very difficult. So, tr so right now, that's why I feel like that's the night of cuts, right? Focus on what you want. Focus on what you want in the moment. Focus on where you want to be, because the page of cups he goes day by day by you know figuring out what he wants, going with his heart's desire. It could be a cookie one day, but it could also be like, you know, ice cream the next. It doesn't necessarily matter, but you know what your heart's desire, you know what you want. So I feel like go with what your heart says. It may change. It's fine. Your heart, you know, change of hearts happen, but go with what you feel and the decisions that you want may interact or you may encounter will not be so detriment or so hard because you don't know necessarily which avenue to take. Okay. Um, for some of you guys too, there may be that this person that this person is your friend and it's hard to switch that to romantic because they are your friend potentially, you know, they're bringing friendship vibes too. Yeah. Look at that friendship vibes, right? You look at the three cups, the three cups here is in your feelings that you feel very platonic with this person. You don't know if you want to actually go to emotional like a romantic town with this person knight of cups is somebody that's a friend that wants more potentially so you guys could be dealing with somebody that wants more in the relationship and they're not really they're they're not actually an, they weren't really a romantic interest they were actually someone that was a friend before or a friend 
and even now if they want something more so be very mindful of that as well all right guys and your whispers of love you guys have wow focus on love look for the good attributes in each and um, each and every person in your life focus on love wow that is so true focus on your love guys focus on what it is that you want focus on your heart's desire focus on what makes you happy because if you focus on what makes you happy the, the, the circumstances that you may find yourself in like this it will be a little bit easier to kind of work through because you know what you want you know what you don't want you know what you're looking for you know what your heart's desire is and you're going after it anyway 